we have a small body a that is fixed to the inside of this hoop hoop is ring the mass of a is same as mass of the hoop and the center of the loop is traveling with velocity v not initially when the mass a is at the bottom at what values of v not will the hoop move without bouncing so you just imagine that if this uh, mass goes up it the loop will try to break contact from the bottom so we don't want that to happen so what should be the maximum velocity such that that does not happen so as this mass goes up and comes down at what point will the normal reaction be minimum so for that let's just assume that normal reaction is minimum when a reaches top so we are going to prove that also in the next slide but for now let's just assume that this normal reaction is uh, minimum when a is at the top so when it is at the top if normal reaction becomes zero only then that means at all the other points normal reaction will not be zero so the hoop will never break contact so that is our approach let's take this a to the top find the value of omega and so that we can get the centripetal acceleration of the body a and because the acceleration of this whole loop towards center is zero so that will be the only acceleration centripetal acceleration of a when it is on the top and that acceleration will use to write f is equal to ma so that will be the force equation and the value of omega we are going to get from energy conservation so let's do that so therefore so normal reaction is minimum when a reaches top therefore if n becomes zero just when a reaches top we get maximum value of v not so force equation along this direction normal direction so what are the forces on this whole loop if we take the whole loop and this mass as a system so mg down and mg on the loop also down and n up and acceleration of the whole system is only due to the small due to this uh, a on the top because acceleration in this direction for the loop is zero loop has only acceleration in x direction in y direction its center of mass does not move so loops acceleration in y direction is zero so only acceleration in y direction is due to this mass that is omega square r so let's write that so force in y, y direction for the system fy is equal to m1a1y plus m2a2y so for both the masses but loop for the loop a to y is zero as hoop travels along x only and what is fy so that is 2 mg minus n now as discussed we are uh, we are taking the n is equal to zero when this reaches on the top so n becomes zero this is our first equation which gives the value of omega now second e equation let's get the value of omega from energy so when the so change in kinetic uh, sorry change in potential energy work done by the gravity is equal to change in kinetic energy so mg into 2r is equal to initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy so we do that and i about point p so due to this mass it will be zero due to ring it will be mr square plus mr square parallel axis theorem so it will be 2 mr square and at this point about p dash uh, i will be 2 mr square due to the hoop just like here plus m into 2r whole square plus m into 2r whole square so because the whole thing is rolling we are just taking the kinetic energy about so uh, for kinetic energy we are just uh, writing the energy due to rotation about point p so because it, it is rolling we can do that the advantage is we don't have to write two separate equations half mv square and half i omega square so anyway we do this and this is our second equation so we have two equations and two variables omega and v not so we solve these two and we'll get our answer v not should be root 8 gr now let us see the proof that normal reaction is minimum when a reaches to the top So let's take a general location 
when a has reached and it is at an at, at an angle theta with the vertical so let's calculate what will be the normal reaction at that particular theta and then we can see at what theta n is going to be minimum so when it is at theta and let's say the loop is rotating with omega so with respect to center the acceleration of uh, this a will be omega square r towards center and for the rest of the system again the acceleration will be towards right so again we are talking talking about the forces in y direction so we are only bothered about the acceleration in y direction now hoop does not accelerate in y direction and this particle is going to accelerate towards center by omega square r so this is with respect to center of mass plus acceleration of center of mass will be which will be towards in x direction which we don't need to bother about so we only need acceleration in y direction so for this whole system acceleration in y direction is omega square r cos theta just like here for the whole system we wrote um, the acceleration in y direction was omega square r we did not bother about the acceleration of center of mass and here the a was anyway moving towards left and right so we didn't bother but here that is not the case but still whatever is the acceleration of center of mass which will get added to the a will still be in the x direction so anyway the whole for the whole system the only acceleration in y direction is omega square r cos theta so let's write the forces in y direction so 2mg minus n is equal to m omega square r cos theta which gives n is equal to 2mg minus m omega square r cos theta now mg is a constant so the normal reaction as a function of theta is coming to be this it has two variables omega and theta so for n to be minimum omega square cos theta should be maximum so this is the dilemma because as the particle goes up omega reduces but cos theta increases so we cannot definitely say that this will be maximum when cos theta is maximum because that time omega is minimum so let's write omega square also in terms of theta so let's do that so from energy conservation mgr1 plus cos theta is equal to initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy just like what we did previously so we do that and we get omega square to be this which means the value of omega square cos theta will be this term multiplied by cos theta so now we have got normal reaction which should be minimum when this term should be maximum so when is this term maximum for theta so we need to differentiate that so i'm not going to differentiate it now but because it's a bit complicated but i'm going to show you how it will look like so if we do that if we do f dash theta is equal to 0 it will come 0 at sin theta is equal to 0 so either at theta is equal to 0 which is on the top or theta is equal to pi which is at the bottom so at these two points there should be maxima or minima but you can just imagine that when the particle is at the bottom then normal reaction is going to be maximum so the maximum normal reaction when this particle is at the bottom and minimum is when it is when it is at the top now this function of theta let's plot it so when we plot this uh, omega square cos theta the curve comes like this so you can see that it has its maximum value at 0 when theta is 0 which is this case so this is our theta right so when theta is 0 the normal reaction is minimum because omega square cos theta is maximum and at pi and minus pi omega square cos theta is minimum so if omega square cos theta is minimum then n is maximum and very interestingly because we have a term of cos theta here so you can see when cos theta is Uh, say so yeah, when cos theta becomes pi by 2 then this whole terms becomes zero which means normal reaction will be 2 mg so if someone asks what is the normal reaction at point 2 and point 4 that will be 2 mg 
So from this equation, we can say several things. First is n is same when mass is climbing up and when it's climbing down. Because this whole term of n is of is in the is a function of cos theta, and cos of plus theta is equal to cos of minus theta. So whatever is normal reaction here, same normal reaction is here, even though it was rotating like this. Second, at bottom half, that is negative cos theta. So when cos theta is negative, you can see. Actually, not this equation. You can see this equation. So when cos theta is negative, then this whole term is always positive, which means normal reaction is always positive. So on the top half, cos theta will be positive, and bottom half, cos cos theta will be negative. So bottom half n is always going to be positive, which means it will never break contact in the bottom half. Doesn't matter what is the value of v naught. So that is the end of this problem. A lot of learnings here. All right.